Justice League vs Godzilla vs Kong issue 5 opens up with Lois trying to reason with Mercy Graves in order to level the playing field between the heroes and monsters. Here is the first time we and the heroes get any sort of explanation as to where these monsters truly come from and also their links to Monarch. We then get a free-for-all battle starring Godzilla and the Kraken. I don't need to help explain how epic these moments are, but the creators really let the artwork do the talk in there, and it's incredible. In fact, it has a real cinematic scope to it. It's so detailed, and it is truly a delight to see. During this conflict, the heroes are trying to locate the beacon in order to, to save Atlantis from collapsing in on itself, and just as they think they've got a plan in place and a handle on things, it once again turns south. In this issue, we really see a sense of the scale of things as we flick from hero to hero and location to location. We see Green Arrow give it another blind shot against the legions of assassins. We see Supergirl return to Skull Island as the heroes try to make a rather ambitious ally. And we also see Shazam take an attempt at revenge against the extended Legion of Doom. The final pages of the issue really have me excited. Seeing this Godzilla character brought to comics and about to go against up against my favourite characters is just beyond belief and it's no surprise that Lex Luthor has a lot to do with it. Justice League vs Godzilla vs Kong issue 5 is a jam-packed issue that perfectly pushes the story forward and expertly gathers yet more intrigue.